Hello everyone and welcome back. So as I promised today we will see the second game between me against Grandmaster, the former world champion Vladimir Kramnik, you know one of the best players in history from Russia. He was seven years in a row the world champion. Yo, it's just unbelievable so in this game i played you know right away after the last game that i play with the black pieces so now i'm in with white pieces and um, so the time control is three minutes plus two seconds it's not title tuesday it's just a game between both of us so let's see how it goes so e4 c5 vladimir is spraying the, the sicilian against me 93 e6 and now d4 c takes knight takes and a6 this is the kind of variation of course another option is to play knight c6 knight c3 now it's very common to play knight f6 also queen c7 and of course was played so many times bishop a3 uh, a6 you know queen d2 queen f3 bishop e2 f4 maybe you know a3 also bishop d3 so a lot of options of course but he played the move a6 and now also white has a lot uh, of options to uh, to consider for example c4 is the main line here knight f6 knight c3 bishop b4 queen b d3 knight c6 also d6 queen c7 so many lines here so many tory but i really like this one for white i must admit also knight c3 um was playing a lot um uh, bishop d3 bishop e2 uh, as I played in the game. So yeah, this is overall everything that you sh should know in this particular position um, So I played the move bishop to e2 as I like if you remember if you saw it in my youtube channel You can see the game between me against um, Petrus Fiddler also from Russia one of the best, you know, also commentary also player and also human, you know uh, just you know, just a wonderful man. So against him. I also played the move bishop to e2 but in real chess board, you know, uh, the game was on board uh, in Gibraltar. So bishop e2, knight f6, of course, the e4 pawn is under attack. e5 is just losing after queen a5 and a check, of course, and the e5 pawn will be lost uh, in a move. So I played the move knight c3 and queen c7, castle, knight c6, bishop e3. And here we just um, come back to tame Manov. And now bishop b4 is one option or maybe bishop e7 like he played in the game. And this is the Sheviningin. So I played the move f4. After, of course, I must say that after bishop b4, there are a lot of moves here for white. One of them is to take the c6 knight and to play f4, for example, b takes c6, f4. It's very interesting for white. d5, e5, knight d7. I think knight a4. Also here, after bishop takes c3, b takes c3, knight takes queen d4. Interesting. I don't know, knight f6, f5. You know, it's it's one option. Another option is to play here. The, the main line is knight a4. Also very very interesting. And yeah, it's 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 really really good for white. I think also castle uh, knight takes c6 for example. B takes knight b6, rook b8. Just taking rook f takes c8. Uh, yeah, rook, bishop takes a6, rook d8. A lot of here, you know, theory and a lot of games were played already. Uh, but black has a very uh, good compensation and initiative in the um, you know like with d5 in the center. So. He played the move bishop e7, f4, and after f4, you know, the, the main line is to play d6 because e5, it's a little bit threat, threat. but he played the move castle, and you know, I think I played it very fast, knight x e6, no, 8 seconds, yeah. I, I'm not sure why I didn't play the move e5, because knight e8, I don't know, knight e4 maybe, and it looks nice, I think c3, bishop d3, queen h5, of course, play will play the move d6, maybe I can take, take, I don't know, bishop d4 or queen d4. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really interesting because this knight is looking awful here. Um, yeah, e5 looks looks better, uh, but I'm not sure. I take the knight on c6, b takes c6 and e5, and I will play the move knight to d5. I took it, c takes d5, and I will play the move rook c1 with my, uh, uh, of course, idea was to play c4 and open it, and of course, just uh, to attack this d5, very important uh, pawn in the center for black. So we play the move c6. I took the pawn, queen takes, and just c4. And it looks like you know only white can can play for win in this position. These bishops are doing great, 
and this pawn is a little bit weak on a6 and it seems like my rooks is coming faster than than his rooks uh, into the game he played d takes c4 queen takes bishop takes and rook fd1 as you can see in this position white is just doing a great job here these two bishops are really really great bishop f3 maybe rook c7 and these bishops are not and uh, you know in their best and also the rooks are not connecting and they're not doing a lot but he played the move a5 strong move he wants to to bring the bishop to a6 and maybe um to exchange the bishops i'm playing the move rook c7 makes a lot of sense bishop d8 and now rook a7 maybe i could play rook c1 because rook a7 it's like right it's maybe maybe not the best because this rook is a little bit you know uh, passive and my rook is just really active so i think rook cc1 was a better option i think bishop a6 maybe king f2 or maybe i can take it and maybe now king f2 i think probably what should be better also a4 makes sense for me uh, i don't know bishop b6 yeah maybe i don't know so yeah i, I played the move rook to a7 rook takes bishop takes you know my point was just you know to to um to remember that a5 square is very weak pawn for him right so i can attack it because this rook i don't know how can he come to to the game so we play the move bishop f6 and now bishop c5 rook d8 also another very strong move by vladimir kronik he's understanding that my rook is better than him right than his rook so just let's uh, let's exchange it so he's understanding that you know every game we need to think about our pieces against his pieces the opponent pieces so if we have like a bad piece we would like to exchange it with a very strong uh, piece for him so just exchange it and bishop b5 and yeah black is just fine here g3 i play the move f6 king f2 king f7 king e3 h5 and now i think after a3 e5 it should be draw i can take it bishop takes b4 takes takes and now i thought like maybe i will have some some uh, ideas here and um, so h4 and you know what let's stop here who do you think won this game this particular end game maybe draw maybe i won this or maybe Vladimir Kramnik, the former world champion, took his win here and tie with me 1-1. So let's see what happened. So after h4, I took it. Bishop takes h2 and a4. And now after g5, I really made a mistake. I think the psychological mistake here was, you know, um, a really, really thing to, to learn from it, right? Because... In this position, just h takes g5. You, you, you need to understand that white has no possibility to win this position. Okay, this is a draw also. You know, also if we are uh, bringing the bishop for this pawn and also bringing the pawn uh, for free, this bishop with the king doing a, a draw against these two bishops. But unfortunately, I didn't do it. I played the move h5 and now f5. And here, I'm not sure because this... Two pawns are doing a great job for him right they're going together and it was like you know very risky for me to go for a win here i think very important move maybe was to play bishop c3 with some options you know to play h6 and bishop g7 and bishop e8 you know for example bishop b7 i don't know bishop c4 and h6 h7 it just should be game over right because this pawn is going forward so bishop c3 was much better than i played i played the move a5 bishop c7 a6 i'm going forward but bishop b6 right king f3 and now king g7 and the king is coming to h6 and i have some problems here because this pawn is not going forward right and also this pawn on h5 also not going forward so what can I do? I'm playing the move bishop d2 with 41 seconds on the clock against 38 of Vladimir Kronik. King h6, bishop e3, bishop c7, bishop d3, and now king takes h5. And now, you know, it's just amazing save by me. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't do it. Yeah, I'm playing the move a7 and in this position, I think maybe I'm already losing. But here I had like a very beautiful solution um, to make a draw. Bishop takes f5. Bishop takes a5 and now Bishop takes g5. Amazing, amazing move. Because after King g7, just a7 in this position, maybe I can win it, right? But should be draw. 
But in this position, if I'm playing a7 immediately, he will play the move g4, king is going, and bishop b4, and this one is of course winning for black. So it's it's really beautiful. Bishop takes a5. We are just sacrificing two bishops in a row, but this position it's just a draw after you know a7, bishop e3, and yeah. I, oh no, sorry, a7, bishop c6. Yeah, I'm playing the move bishop a3 and a7 the next move. Yeah, and this is totally draw, of course. So, after king h5, I played the move a7 and now bishop b7, king f2, and now the pawns are running with 23 seconds on the clock. I have some troubles here. Bishop d4, g4, bishop a6, g3, king e1. But what about king g1? I'm not sure because bishop c6... I don't know, maybe bishop b5, bishop a8, and now bishop d7, because the, the king is not coming fast, right? Because after f3, I'm not afraid, because f2, bishop takes, and king takes, and, you know, the king and a bishop against two bishops, it's a draw. So, yeah, this was a mistake, right? I played the move king e1, now bishop a8, bishop c8, f3, bishop f5, and this was the last moment that I could survive with king f1, because king f1... And another time, I think just king g1, f2 is not played, a playable by, by black, and I think it should be draw, because this bishop is very strong here, and just, you know, uh, avoiding, you know, like f2, preventing it, and I'm not sure how black can win it, but maybe there is a chance, I'm not sure. So I played the move bishop f5, and just king g5, bishop d7, and king f4, and king e4, king c3, just f2, and yeah, bishop h3, king f3, and this is a game over, unfortunately, g2, and yeah, that's it. This position, uh, of course, in this game, I resigned against Vladimir Kramnik, so I lost the game, I lost the second game against the former world champion, so our match, whoa, so long match, um, closes by 1-1, one, one. I won with the black pieces, and Vladimir won with his black pieces it was like one year and two months ago so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching don't forget to like this video and you know what i think this video is really really recommended by me so just sit back relax and enjoy the show don't forget to subscribe my channel it really really helped me bye bye see you soon